guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video for you. So uh, today I've got a Civivi knife and this is a very, very new knife from Civivi. Let me get this out of the way. First, I'll bring in this knife. This is the Civivi Anthropos, which I gave you a first impressions video of a few weeks ago. One of the things that I've discovered about this knife is, well, I mean, I knew it all, all along, but I, I knew people would be interested, so I got it anyway. It's definitely a little too small for me and it doesn't have enough handle real estate for me. So introducing the plethoros which you know i wouldn't say it has a plethora of hand space but it definitely has more than the anthropos and so uh, let me move this guy out of the way i will by the way do a full comparison between these two knives probably that should be out mm, sometime next week uh, but I will say I was a little more impressed with the anthropos, with the plethoros. I'm going to have a really hard time keeping those straight, uh, but I'm a little more impressed with the plethoros than I was with the anthropos. Both are really cool designs. Both are highly functional. I just find this one gives me a little more grip, a little more comfort in hand because of the extra real estate that I get with it. So uh, let me give you a quick rundown here on size and uh, on features first, then we'll do size weight and I'll give you my overall impression. So first off, Let's talk about what, what this is all made of. So we have a very nice high flat grind, really, now it's fairly thin blade stock. I'd like to see that just a little thicker, but it's not the end of the world. And Civivis have tradition, have typically been fairly thin blade stock. Very nice slicey blade in D2 steel. Now, of course, D2 is not stainless. Civivi, by the way, has been doing a really, really nice job with their D2, so I'm happy to see that. You can see the maker's mark over here. This is an Elijah Isham design, and as if I even had to say that, you can pretty much look at this and go, yep, Elijah Isham right there. Uh, but anyway, that's who the designer is on this guy. As is typical of Elijah, we've got this hole here in the blade. They've done something interesting, and we'll have a longer discussion about this when we get to the full review, but they've kind of done a, an, a hidden, non-hidden stop pin, which I, I think is fine. I have no issue with them doing that, uh, but it's just not something we're used to seeing. But uh, both of these Civivis have gone this road, and I think it's kind of a cool option. It keeps things hidden, and it looks, keeps things looking very clean from this view. Of course, if you take a look at the top, you're like, what exactly is going on in there? Uh, it is, of course, on bearings. It is a flipper knife, although it can be deployed, and I've been able to do this a couple of times. Hopefully, it'll work on camera, and I won't look like an idiot, at least for that reason. Uh, there we go. So you can deploy it using that hole, which is kind of a nice upgrade or change from uh, the Anthropos. And then moving down here to the handle, we have a G10 with carbon fiber overlay and stainless steel liners. And look at the milling on those liners. They have been really, really aggressively milled out to save weight, and they have saved a lot of weight. This only weighs 3.2 ounces for essentially an 8-inch knife. Uh, last thing to mention here is we've got one standoff and a dual position deep carry pocket clip. So I know a lot of those things are things that people really, really like. All right, let's give you the size and weight here. So overall, this knife is 7 and 15 16 so just a hair under eight inches the blade length here is three and seven sixteenths the handle length is four and seven sixteenths so one inch more handle to blade uh really really squeeze a lot of cutting edge in a very you know not very small but a fairly small knife right this is only again the handle is under four and a half inches all right and yet you're getting all of that cutting edge which i will say i really really like feels pretty good in hand and I do like the fact that they've given you this choil. In fact, I find this a very natural position to be in when using this knife and uh, maybe you'll find the same thing. Uh, just a quick number here, I'll give you the grip area. So grip area without the finger choil is going to be just a little over three and a half inches and of course you end up adding a half or three quarters of an inch if you choke up and use that choil which is not really a choil, I don't know what you call it, just a flat spot on the blade. Uh, but it does accommodate a finger very nicely. Okay, so, what are my overall thoughts on this knife? Now that you know the size, you know the weight, you know how it's built, you know the designer, uh, let me say that of the Isham knives that are out there, this I think is one of the most 
practical, carryable, right? The the Zeta that I reviewed recent, well, I guess it's been a year or so now, but you know that was close to being the most the most practical of the Ishim designs, but this one is a little more comfortable in hand. It's a little easier to flip, and of course, it's much, much more affordable. So really, really cool knife here. I like the fact that you get a very compelling knife design. This is one that you know people are going to look at and be like, whoa, what in the world is that? And yet it's it's you know it's not overly expensive. It's not it's fairly comfortable and it's a fairly usable knife. Now these are a little more than your average or than the initial Civivis that came out. I think uh, the first Civivis like the uh, wow now I can't think of a single name. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway, the first Civivis that came out were like $42 or something like that. And then they came out with the VG10 bladed knives, which were around uh, $70, $62 or something like that. And these, I think, are, are a little more expensive yet. I think these are like $68, $72, something along those lines. So a little more money. Now, the one thing I will say about this is they, uh, this is, you know, I'll save the full discussion for review, but they're using D2 steel on this and the Anthropos. Let's bring these in for one quick second at the end. I actually would have liked to see them stick with the 9CR18 MOV and perhaps come in at a little cheaper price point, although D2 is not expensive steel either. Uh, but I felt like that steel really performed well. And for a knife that's going to be an average user for, you know, this is, this is clearly bringing Isham designs to a broader market. I feel like 9CR18 is a is a better, you know, broad market type of steel. Let's flip this guy over. Uh, now, my, my overall thoughts on this. Yeah, really cool knife, carries well, highly usable. I, I really think this is a great little EDC knife, especially for someone who wants something to be a little bit different and a little more compelling than say, I don't know, a Rat Model 1 or Spider Codelica or something like that that's that you could be carrying. All right, so there you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on the um, Civivi Plethoros. Go over to White Mountain Knives, use my link in the description box, pick one up for yourself. You can use my discount code to save yourself 10%, which I think is definitely worthwhile on this knife. It does bring the price point down a little bit for you. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Then by the way, that helps you because you save 10%, but it helps me because then Justin is more inclined to give me better and better deals on the knives that I'm buying from him and sharing with you guys. Okay, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, don't forget to use that link and uh, my discount code for 10% for off. We'll talk to you later.